Okay, y'all, Monkey and I have not picked up the camera to just vlog in quite some time, but we are going on like a special little date night tonight. We are headed to Home Goods. I saw like an area rug in there that I really, really want. I'll show you kind of why I'm thinking we need a new area rug. So we're taking the truck so we can fit it in there because it wasn't fit in my car. And then we might go into Sam's Club. We're gonna get dinner somewhere. We're just gonna go have a fun little midweek bunky date night. So we're so excited we're gonna bring you guys along with us. This sweet girl is always laying on my pillows and so they're all like pretty much need to be replaced at this point. But I'm pretty sure your dad doesn't want us to buy any more pillows days. <laughs> But anyway, I wanted to show y'all because we love this rug so much. I love the colors in here. And I think it's like perfect for um, like the vibe of our house. But it's pretty small. And so I want something to take up like way more space. And then the biggest reason that I want to get a new rug is because this is like our ruggable one. Which is awesome because we can pull this up and wash it. But it's also very thin. And I feel like for Daisy... It's just so much more comfortable for her to like walk around on carpet and this isn't like a comfy cozy type of rug that she can like lay on or like run around on so it's also for this girl right here. Okay so Bunky and I really want to do a lot of things at our house this year. Since we've been there for a year we feel like we've lived in it. We kind of like know the things that are important to us and all of that. But I'm going to let Bunky tell you what he feels is most important to get done first. And then I'll tell you what I think is most important to get done. So enlighten us with what you feel is on the top of your to-do list. Hmm. Well, <clears throat> oftentimes when I'm thinking of things, I'm, I'm thinking of you as well. Oh, Bunky. That's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> but I, f I feel like our... Um, we were very spoiled in our former home with how much closet space we had because yes. I had my own closet that was actually probably larger than the current closet that we share now and then you had what might as well have been a second bedroom right as a closet I mean not really but you know it, it was, was large it was big but we had our own our own closets and I just feel like there's some kind of way that we can, if we do a little redesign to our bathroom, which is what I know you want to do, mm -hmm. I think we can take some of that shower area and turn it into additional closet space and then still find a way to have like an awesome bathtub shower. Ooh, bonky. You're speaking my love language. It's like a combo. I thought you were going to say like the yard. Oh, well, you know, that, that thing's just uh, hopeless. Well, For yeah. some reason, I cannot grow grass, y'all. <laughs> it is just bad. <laughs> Nothing but weeds. I want to get our house painted. That's, like, top of the list for us. Um, that would be very nice. Yes. Something to the living room wall because it's very big and just, like, blank. So, something really cool, like a design to that wall. And then we want to do some landscaping. So those are the things at the top of our list for this year. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, this guy looks kind of cool behind you. I was in here last week and they had these really pretty green chairs that I really wanted. And then I came back to get them and they weren't here anymore. They're gone. They're gone. And I was so sad. So I really hope the rug is still here. <laughs> oh, these are beautiful. Wifey poo. Honey bun. Honey bun. <laughs> the bun line. Okay, but this this is actually really cute. I want to show you something that I really, really, really want. Oh, God. Come on, come on, come on. Look at how pretty that is. Ooh. It's like coral. Where is this going to go? On our coffee table. That's always the question. Well, I do like that it's much smaller than what we currently have on there. Yes, it's so pretty. For Daisy May? Yeah. There's lots of toys for Daisy May. We haven't gotten her a toy in a long time. A we need to get her a new one. dinosaur. Wow. Now that's cool. That is cool. Okay, well, this is definitely not going as planned because they don't have either of the rugs that I came here to get. They're already sold. Mm -hmm. So I must have really good taste because everything I want here gets sold. And I cannot find any other ones that I love. Bunky's gonna close me in. And Bunky doesn't love these. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, they've moved on to art. Check it out. 
check that out. That's really pretty, actually. Sailboat action? What else we got wow. here? Oh, you're gonna love this. What? This is exactly like what you've shown me many times okay, show in, me. in the Hoblobs. Okay. Wow. She, I don't remember showing you that. She doesn't love it. <laughs> this is so cute. So cute. <laughs> oh no, I've got it right here, Bunky. This is the one. That's the French bulldog that I want. <laughs> They did not have a rug. I'm still on the hunt, but I am determined to get one. I was like thinking for sure we were gonna have one today, but no. All to eat, but we don't know where we're going. Yeah. But I'm hungry. We, oh my goodness, there's Golden Corral right there. You wanna go to the buffet? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, hopefully y'all can see me just a little bit. We decided to come to Greg's. It's like in the Surfside area. If y'all come down here on vacation, you've probably eaten here. If not, it's so good. And they have my very favorite baby back ribs. I'm sorry, Bunky, for saying this. Second favorite. <laughs> but they are so good. And it is rib night. So I was like, that is a for sure for me. So we're going to Greg's. Okay, good morning. Bunky and I went to Brown Fox. We actually, I did not have any iced coffee this morning, so I knew I was going to Brown Fox. And I was like, Bunky, you wanna take a golf cart ride? And it is so pretty. It's like almost 70 degrees. It's been so dreary here for like, it feels like days on end and the sun is finally peeking out, so I'm so excited. But anyway, got the kitchen kind of clean this morning and I am gonna go to Aldi. Bunky does not oh, know this. Wow. <laughs> because I saw my friend Kaylin Cash. She found this beautiful diffuser there and I was like, I have got to go see if I can find it. So I'm going there to shop, you know, the aisle that we all love, but also just- Aldi finds. Maybe see what all we can find at Aldi. I need to stop at Sephora because I need an eyebrow pencil, maybe a few other things, and we'll see what else we can get into. And then I'm probably gonna make us a really yummy recipe tonight for dinner. Man, I'm sad I don't get to go on this I Aldi you, trip. I know, I wish you'd come with me. I'm gonna try and find us some good stuff though. All right, I might send you a list. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I went to Sephora and I wanted the Mario Badescu um, like lip mask that you wear overnight and they didn't have it. So I decided to come to Ulta. They did not have it either, but I did get the hyaluronic eye cream. I feel like I'm kind of like at the age where I need to start wearing an eye cream. And then like I said, my brow pencil, which is the Anastasia Brow Wiz and I get it in the shade taupe. I wanted a few other things, but they didn't have them, so that's my little mini Ulta haul.
Okay, I feel like I seriously scored big at Aldi. They had exactly what I went in there looking for, so I was so excited for that. And as y'all saw, the chocolate cake was on sale. So you know I had to get it. And Bunky has been asking me, because I've actually been home for a couple hours now. And Bunky's like, when can I get the chocolate cake? And I was like, not till I show my friends. <laughs> so we're getting into it now. For my birthday month. Yeah, that's right. It's and your I, birthday month. And I like chocolate cake We're gonna best. kick it off, February 1st. Yep. Bunky's birthday month, chocolate cake. <laughs> Wait, you're taking a bite right now? Yes. I've been waiting all day for this. Hold on, let me let me just get a little. Don't touch my cake. Why? Because, because I get first bite. It's my birthday cake. Oh, okay. Yeah. I gotta hurry through this haul then, because I want to buy that. If y'all are new around here, you may not know, but Aldi's chocolate cake in their little baked goods section. So good. The best you will ever have. It is so moist. I'm sorry for using that word, but it is. Yeah. I am just like decadent. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Deep chocolate flavor. Okay, so anyways, got some cake. I also picked us up some string cheese because it's gonna be for a recipe that I'm making for like a little recipe reel for the Super Bowl. Ooh. Okay, this is why I went in there and I'm so happy they had it. Is this not the cutest little like rattan oil diffuser. Can you see a picture of it? Yeah, rotate other way. This way? Yeah. So stinking cute, I love it. I can't decide if I'm gonna leave it like in um, our living room or like put it in our bathroom or bedroom. Uh-huh. I think I'm gonna put it up there. Yeah. Can you just imagine like taking a bath, having this going, essential oils? I can imagine you doing oh, that. Oh, it's just gonna be so nice. Oh, I like this uh, wow. bag? nice bag, nice bag choice. <laughs> You know what? Oh my gosh, I'm laughing. You know what I just realized? You paid 50 cent for that bag. No, no, no. <laughs> this is like from Marshalls or something. I'm pretty sure your mom bought this for my mom and told me to give it to her, but I forgot to give it to her and it was like the only bag in my car, so I used it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I was wondering like, you had to pick that up today or not to be able to bag your groceries. No, okay. Also, I am like so close to being out of vanilla extract, so mm -hmm. I had to pick up some more of that. It's a really good price at Aldi, by the way. Now, for a recipe that we were gonna make tonight, but I think I actually make it tomorrow, I needed some, um, how do you say this? Hoisin? Hoisin, yeah, hoisin. Hoisin sauce. Oh, cool. Also, another great price. Good fun at Aldi. Yeah. They had tons of like, um, soy sauces, hoisin, I can't say that. Like, all kinds of really good teriyaki marinades. I should've gotten more. International options. They look, they all look so good. Okay, now this is what I'm so excited for. Last but not least. Yes. Okay. Wow, I gotta back up here. Look at how cool this is. A juice and store jar. Okay, so it's like this mason jar, which is so cute, but the top you put on there and you squeeze like your lemons or limes and it catches all the juice and then you can sort it in your fridge and then you just have it. Huh. And see, I That'll really... be good for lemon juice, I think. It's exactly why I got it. <laughs> yeah, we're not, we're not really big on the making our own fresh squeezed orange juice. No, but. but I want to be better about drinking my lemon water because it's so good for you. Yeah. And I was like, well, if I have this and go ahead and squeeze my fresh lemons, right. then I'll just have it in the morning. It's super easy to add to my water. Are you so excited? I'm, a, I'm excited for you to report back. Okay, I'll report back. <laughs> it was only like six or seven dollars. Oh, cool. It was a great price. A little, little citrus juicer. Yes, so that's my little Aldi haul, that's all I got. But I had a lot of fun in there. Had I been there with you, we would have we would have ended up yeah. with more. Yeah, it was very busy. Hmm. On a Wednesday yeah. afternoon. Yeah. Okay, it's time for chocolate cake. All right, I'm gonna get started on the most delicious recipe. We're doing like a beef broccoli ramen stir fry. I mean, that just like sounds amazing. And all of these flavors are truly my favorite. And yesterday it was like 70 degrees, sunshine, so pretty. I was like about to go lay out at the beach, okay? And then today it is freezing cold. It's like dreary and rainy. And it's supposed to just like keep getting colder over the next couple of days. So I'm like, this is like a warm little bit of like heat, cozy recipe. Mm -hmm. I cannot wait. I'm thinking I might make a little potato soup tomorrow. I've been craving that. Um, but we're gonna get started on this right now and I'm so excited. This recipe is actually very easy to make, but the sauce has a lot of ingredients. So 
once you make this sauce though, you're basically just kind of cooking and throwing everything together. But for this sauce, you need some soy sauce, some cornstarch, beef broth, honey, poison sauce, rice wine vinegar, sesame oil, garlic, red pepper flakes. It calls for like ginger, like fresh ginger that you grate. I forgot to get it, so I'm just gonna use the ground ginger seasoning or spice. And that's it. <laughs> we're gonna mix all of this together. So we're adding a quarter cup of low sodium soy sauce, and then we're gonna do one tablespoon of cornstarch and kind of stir that until there's no lumps left in that cornstarch. Okay, a third cup of beef broth. I thought about using my better than bouillon beef concentrate because that would be so good but I was like for a third a cup <laughs> probably not worth it okay and then we're gonna do two tablespoons of honey and y'all know I'm just totally eyeballing this one two now two tablespoons of this hoisin sauce hopefully I'm saying that right can you even imagine like how much flavor this is gonna have and these are like all of my favorite savory flavors and salty. Oh my gosh. Okay, tablespoon of rice vinegar. I'm just eyeballing it. And then tablespoon of sesame oil. And that's my favorite flavor of all. Red pepper flakes, ginger, and minced garlic. Okay, so now I've got this pot of water back here. I'm bringing it to a boil. Once it's boiling, we're gonna add in our ramen minus the seasoning packet, so just the noodles. And then once they're finished, we're gonna run them under cold water so that they will stop cooking. And then over here, I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil, and then I'm gonna salt and pepper my steak and start cooking that. And I just went ahead and got the ones that were already cut up, like for a stir fry. But if you have like a sirloin or like a strip steak, you can definitely use that. Just go ahead and cut it into strips. Season it and then it'll cook up just perfect. I actually ordered some salt from Amazon. It's in my uh, pepper jar, but it's salt in there. This is the one that I just ordered because I've heard a lot of people say this is like one of the best salts that you can eat. So I'm trying it out. That's what I'm going to use to season our meat. I'm just going to add a sprinkle on here and then also lots of cracked black pepper. Now I don't want this meat to overcook, but I do want to get some like nice brown pieces on it. So I'm just gonna leave it for a couple minutes without touching it. Then we'll start around, cook it on the other side and then remove it from our pan. I'm going ahead and cutting up our broccoli into bite-sized pieces. I don't want it to overcook, but like. Yeah, I'm thinking this is about done actually. You think it's done? Yeah. Okay, once it's done, we're gonna put it on this plate because then we gotta start cooking our broccoli. Mm-hmm. It looks good though, doesn't it? When are we getting, when are we saucing it? Once we throw everything in the pan. Woo! Okay, now back over here to our skillet, I'm gonna add a little bit more oil. Just a good tablespoon will do. And then we're gonna add our broccoli. And then about a half a cup of water and we're gonna pop a lid on this and let it steam for like two minutes until that broccoli is nice and bright green and a little bit softer. Okay, are you ready to see this broccoli? That is like exactly the color we're going for. You don't want it to be mushy, just a little softer. Okay, add back in our steak and our noodles. And lastly, all this delicious sauce that we made. Okay, now we just gotta mix this around, let it cook for just another couple minutes, and this will be ready. Y'all, I already ate my entire bowl, but I'm gonna let Bunky tell you what he thinks first. Oh my, this smells exactly how it should. Yes. And looks amazing. Uh-huh. Wow. Mm-hmm. It's got the sweet, savory, 
spicy. All of it. Mm. Man, if you can make this for me, no, no more need for a takeout. I know. Bonnie, the ramen is like my favorite and I love the broccoli. Mm -hmm. The broccoli still has like that crunch, but all that like flavor mm. from the sauce. Wow. That's hit a lot of flavor notes. Wow. I'm so impressed by this recipe. That's good. Okay, now like I said, the sauce has a lot of ingredients, but truly it was super simple to make. And once you get like the noodles cooked, the meat cooked, the broth cooked, you're just putting it all together. So flavorful, so scrumptious. I think it took like 30 minutes. Must try recipe. And you can feed a crowd with that too. You can. Y'all, we love this recipe. It was just so good. I will have it linked down below for you. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. If you guys love this vlog and you want to see more vlogs, let us know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Give this one a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye y'all.